Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to talk about another basic facts of Windows. What's the difference between using a local account and a Microsoft account in Windows 10? The Microsoft account feature of Windows has started in Windows 8 and actually in Windows 8 pretty much everybody had a Microsoft account for the simple reason that the first release of Windows 8, if you did not have a Microsoft account, you were kind of locked out of a lot of features and people didn't like that. They didn't like the fact that you have to, you know, put your email address in uh, Windows and, um, you know, they just didn't know what Microsoft would do with it and what would happen with your email. And um, in Windows 10, Microsoft backed off. In Windows 10, you can use a local account and still have many, many of the features running. And I think that was a good idea because even though some people will want to use a, a Microsoft account, a lot just want to stay in a local account and give as little detail as possible when using the computer. In Windows 10, uh, first of all, if you have an account already, you can switch between accounts easily. So if you are in a, a Microsoft account like I am, you can of course click sign in with a local account instead. Click there, follow the instructions, and that will change the way your account works. If you're in a local account, you have the same thing, but it will say sign in with a Microsoft account instead. So you just click that little phrase there with your user account. It's going to switch between one and the other. Now, what's interesting about the email address is that you don't have to have a Microsoft email like out a Hotmail, Outlook, MSN, and so on, or Live. Uh, you can use any email address, a Gmail, a Yahoo Mail, uh, any email will work for uh, creating a Microsoft account. The only difference is that when you log in with a local account, typically you have a username. So it, it may be your own name. It may be, for example, I had a user account that I've created. It was called Tech Guy Montreal. Um, but when you switch to a Microsoft account, then you enter or log in with your email address. And it becomes the same password most of the time that you already use for your email that is the password that you will log in with. Now the difference between both is uh, pretty big in a sense that if you use a local account well your computer is pretty much shut down to the web services. It has the added bonus that you are of course much more private so privacy issues are not a concern really when you use a local account because web services aren't working and Microsoft does use a lot of the Microsoft account services in order to actually get data and information out of your computer. Now a local account will also disable a lot of features. So for example if you have more than one computer local accounts pretty much make your each computer um, pretty much on its own and they don't talk together, they don't synchronize together, they are just unique machines on your network. If you have a Microsoft account, now there's a number of features that get synchronized and that is the interesting fact here, is that a lot of the features, uh, for example your desktop background, some of the settings, um, a lot of things will really synchronize and I actually like using Microsoft accounts and online accounts for my software. For example, I use a Gmail account for my Google Chrome. The reason why is just fun because every time you install Chrome on a computer, you just log in and you get all your favorites back. You get all of these little details. You get even the uh, synchronization of your basic settings, including passwords. And in Windows 10, it's pretty much the same. There's a lot of synchronization and actually it will become better and better as time goes by including Edge eventually uh, probably sharing settings together. Also, if you don't use a Microsoft account, one of the problems you'll have is that you won't be able to use Cortana, for example. Cortana works only on Microsoft account-enabled Windows machines. 
another feature could be the store maybe the Microsoft store is the problem maybe that you find you want to have an app well all these apps require you to have Microsoft accounts now if you use a Microsoft account by default the privacy issues might be a concern to you but I have posted a lot of videos online explaining how to turn off most of the settings that cause the major privacy issues in Windows 10. So it is to consider if you're scared of you know too much information being sent out to Microsoft then maybe you want to use a local account but um, you can tweak these settings in a Microsoft account and still make sure that you you know give as little detail as possible uh, when you are on a Microsoft account. So if you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? If you will be informed when new videos are online, give us thumbs up if you like our videos. If you have any comments, questions, maybe a problem, why not share it with us? We'll try to help you if we can. And hopefully you will come back to our channel. Thank you for watching.